when we first arrived, obviously the first thing you notice is just the lack of people. There were lots of sections cordoned off, lots of signs with images explaining how to social distance, you must wear a mask. Um, the process of getting to customs was obviously different. Um, there were lots of separate waiting rooms. city where we're stationed um, these next few days obviously there's a quarantine period and we are secluded to one floor we are able to do a bit of training in inside the hotel um, again in our bubble we can't go outside no contact with anyone else and we've got a little gym room set up um, where we're able to keep that strength and conditioning going which is really important most importantly, we have to present COVID free and take COVID tests. We have to follow very strict rules around social distancing, um, wearing masks, staying in, in certain areas, things like not speaking. So for example, at meal times. We're not expecting any social interaction outside of the team and again we've prepared for this eventuality we've been told um, before make sure that you've got something to bring with you to fill in big gaps of time i've got a lot of my teammates on board for the switch so there's constant um, mario kart competitions try and get a bit of social interaction going as well as you know a bit of downtime i love reading i've got my kindle <laughs> If the Olympics goes ahead, that's that's good enough for us and we're happy to compete under any circumstances um, necessary. So while, yeah, sure, it's, it's disappointing not to be able to compete in what the environment that is the Olympics, you make it what it is. So I'll still be very grateful for the opportunity in whatever shape or form um, pops up. <laughs> <laughs>